Hello everybody, long time no see. It has been, oh my goodness, must be like five, six months since I made a video. That's scary, if not maybe longer. Um, so basically I wanted to do a little makeup tutorial showing you some new things. So it's kind of like a first impression, a haul, and just showing you my new products and me using them. Uh... I'm so happy to be making videos again. I did make a video showing you some products but it just I thought it'd be better to show me using them and how they work, things like that there. I'm also finished, well not finished college, college but I finished all my assessments and things so praise the lord. Um, thank goodness for that. Um, but yeah. So I don't want to ramble on too much for this, so I'm just going to jump straight into it and show you some of the new goodies I have. Some are high end, some are uh, drugstore, so yeah, keep watching. Okay, so to start I've already cleansed, tones and moisturised my face. I moisturise with my Garnier Skin Active Moisture Balm. Also, I am filming with my front facing camera because when it's... Using the back facing camera on my phone, I can't tell when it's in and out of focus and it fries my head. So I just use the front one. The quality is maybe not as good and I look over here a lot and I can't help that. But yes, I love this moisturiser. It makes my skin feel so amazing. I usually apply a face oil too. Um, it is the Queen of Oils skin repair one. I got it in Dublin at a beauty show but it's not at hand so it's a bit awkward so take off my spectacles ignore my donut nighty uh i'm just being real so this is something i've seen a lot of people do mainly on instagram and it is applying a luminizer onto their face before the foundation so that it will give them a nice healthy glow under the foundation and i haven't used this one yet i've done a few swatches on it and stuff um, so it'll be interesting to see. This is the MUA Undress Your Skin Eliminating Liquid Glow in the shade Oyster. Like this. Um, this was £3 and I think that is a steal. Considering how much is in it, this is 20ml so it's almost the size of a foundation. A foundation is typically 30ml. Um, so yeah. I don't know how it would work putting it under my foundation but we will see. But before that I just realised something I forgot. I'm going to prep my skin using my MAX Prep and Prime Fix Plus. I got this in Dublin in Debenhams and I didn't realise how much I loved it until I got it. Also, if someone could leave a comment, what is the thing about MAC that if you take in your empty bottles they do something? I have to google it but if I get a response on this video first, it would be great. So I'm just going to spritz the face. It always makes my face super wet, so I don't know if you're supposed to, but I just rub it in them. I think I just hold it too close. It is raining today. So. Nice. So I'm going to just pop, mm, pop. I'm just going to put out a little bit of this onto my finger. This is what it looks like. And there's a mirror above here. So I'm just going to a little bit as I would my moisturiser and I'm just gonna rub that in oh look at that glow I say this is it is I assume like a liquid highlighter but I wanted to put it on to give her face a nice glow I literally put out the tiniest little drop like the tiniest little drop I'm gonna put out a little tiny squidge more not loads just a little just to see I put on a lot more than the first time it's just to see if it'll make any other difference I look radiant I'm kidding I think it's nice especially if you have dry skin to give yourself a nice glow to your face like that may look oily and shiny on the camera which I can see that it does but I just look 
radiant. I'm going from every angle. Yes, yes, yes. So I need a wipe to wipe my hands. Find the wipes. I get these wipes from um, Pineland. So the pure, I get the deep cleanser one and the makeup remover one. They're very good. Oh no, they're not a pound. They're two for a pound. They're technically 50p. But yeah. It feels really nice on my skin. It hasn't made it oily or anything. So I suppose you could use it if you're oily. But generally if you're oily you want to reduce the shine on your face. Not make it more prominent. So the next I normally fill in my eyebrows. Eyebrows. And I just use um, uh, my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in dark brown um this isn't real i got this off aliexpress um but it does does the same thing so i'm just gonna fill in my brows and i will be back so eyebrows are done i look a little crazy because that's all i can see it takes forever to get them to match up like i know your eyebrows aren't supposed to be twins or sisters why not even friends we're not even from the same family sometimes but Yes, I am so impressed with this glow on my face. I just think it looks so pretty. So next we're going to go into foundation. And I have a new foundation. How exciting. Um, I would colour correct on days I'm going out. But I'm not really going anywhere. So yeah. So this, I don't know if there's a lot of places sell this. Um, where I'm from. Which is weird. Um, but they, they sell this in my chemist and I've not seen it being sold anywhere else. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus uh, Foundation and I'm in Soft Ivory. I think this is mainly an American brand but my chemist sells it. For £5.50 it's really good. I do notice um, I have to use it with a damp sponge. It is quite, not a drying formula but... For my dry skin, it is quite matte, so I find if I use it with a sponge, then it's really good. And I sometimes layer a foundation on top, just for that extra coverage. So it comes with a little spatula, so I'm just going to dot this all over my coupon. That's a Northern Irish word, maybe. But then grip. What have you people been up to? How have you all been? How's school if you go to school? Or how's work if you go to work? How's life if you don't do it either? I have been obsessed with Big Bang Theory. Just, just using my Real Techniques sponge. It's dump. Um, yeah, I have been obsessed with Big Bang Theory. Um, my boyfriend got me like hooked on it basically and I have been obsessing over it ever since. I am on season 9 I think and I only started watching it a couple of months ago. It is just amazing. So yeah, love some big back there. I'm sorry if it's annoying that I look up whenever I'm doing this. It's just because like I said my mirror is up here so... I guess to see what I'm doing. Also, I got uh, another piercing. I had to take, well, I didn't have to. I thought that I did take my piercings out for uh, college. And I, most of them closed. My lip didn't close, so I, like, not re-pierced it. But I just, I stuck a, an, an earring. I didn't have to shove the earring through it. But I put an earring in and it fit it. And so... I've had to sort of stretch it out again with a little bar, it's a pink bar, um, because I'm a real girly girl. Um, and then I had to get my industrial redone, and I got it done this time in the place that done all the rest of my piercings, and it has healed, it's not fully healed yet, but it has healed fantastically compared to the last time, so I definitely think the last piercing place did not use a titanium bar. I think it was definitely silver. And I can't have silver piercings because I'm allergic. Just, I always like to go over my eyebrows. I don't know why. 
but yeah and then I got my dace pierced I got it pierced with just a little hoop um apparently it helps migraines and stuff like that's the piercing for migraines I don't really notice much of a difference I don't really get migraines but I just think it looks great looks great so next like I said I'm a wee bit of a foundation person um so I am going to layer on top and this is another drugstore I'm sure you've seen this everywhere this is the Rimmel Match Perfection and I am in shade 100 ivory so I just like to pop a little bit of that out and dot it I tend to not really put it on my forehead it's more I think because this one's a little bit of a darker colour I probably should be shade porcelain but I like the ivory because it gives me a little bit of colour to my face because I'm quite pale great so I'm just gonna blend it in and then I'll be back okay so I'm finished with my foundation I took this down my neck because like I said it's a little tiny tiny I mean a smidge of darker than my face so next I'm going to conceal I always think like Elsa like conceal don't fail don't let it show and I'm using, it's not really a new product, it's just the Collection List Perfection in shade uh, Fair 1, or 1 Fair. And I just like to put that everywhere. There's a problem. It's very exciting. Just dot, 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 dot. I shouldn't really be putting this all over like my spots and stuff but I have one for clients and then this is my own one so it doesn't get like dirty and we're blending like from Edward Scissorhands my boyfriend taught me that one too it's actually a really good movie um so I know I said in my like couple of videos before I started college or when I started college I was going to like update at how college is going videos and everything has just been so hectic I've been dealing with my own sort of personal things um like and I've just had a lot to deal with and so trust me I have wanted to make YouTube videos so bad but finding the time has been difficult i'm tired all the time i don't sleep good oh it's just tragic it's just tragic um but now that we're finished with college i can if you want do like a my experience type video comment let me know if you would like a my beauty therapy college experience and I will show you that, you know, overall it has been great. So it has, um, I'm really proud of myself that I finished, um, so young. Wiping them hands. I hate having foundation and stuff on my hands. It just, ugh, it irks me. Is that the word? Irk. So it's bothering me that I can't find it. So I'm just going to take a regular face powder, it's not a MAC one, but it looks like a MAC one. The problem, it was like a Makeup Revolution uh, sort of contour palette and it had shades that I like to powder with, like powder my face, but I don't know where it is or where I can find it. It has my contour shades in it very upsetting but yes i'm just powdering all over my face sort of pat 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 into the skin as well it gives it that little bit more coverage make sure you get that neck and yes i can still see i don't know if you can that a slight luminosity shining through, which is great. Um, so next I'm going to take my Nikki Tutorials palette. 
um, love. And I'm going to take this brush I got from Salon Services with my beauty kit. It's just an angled brush. And I'm going to take Chocolate Soleil. That's upside down. That colour. I don't know how to say it. And I'm going to start to carve out the cheekbones. Just lightly, nothing too drastic. I don't even have a, an aim for this look. I haven't even said what type of look I'm going to go for. So you can see the difference. This side of my face has a lot more dimension. It's more sunk in. Uh, whereas this side just looks, it looks different. And I always like to take a little bit under that jawline, even though I don't really have one. And make sure it's well blended. So you can see it has a little bit more dimension. I'm sorry if I keep looking at myself. I always have to switch hands when I do this side. I don't know why. It makes no sense because this hand is quite harsh. It's like watching somebody do that, do my makeup with the opposite hand challenge. Except this is optional. I just like to make sure both sides match in terms of uh, colour. Because you don't want one side being really dark and then this side being like barely anything there. So I know cheeks if you have to. And then I just like to take my sponge and sort of clean up under. Just to give it a nice sharp line. Not a sharp line. And a more defined line. This side's going to look darker because the shadow is on this side. I promise I'm contoured. Just a little bit here. And again, the jaw. And that double chip. And then just take my sponge and blend it. I love how my phone is showing up every single problem. I promise I, I promise you it looks a lot better in person than what my phone is bringing up. And then I just like to contour. or It's more bronzing than contouring because I don't need to contour my forehead because it's more like a three head. It's so tiny, and I know a lot of people are like, oh, I wish I had a tiny forehead. I don't. I wish mine was a little bit bigger. Took like a little bit down the sides of the nose. Just a light brushing. And slap some under that lip. Just to make it appear to sit out a little bit more. So, that is my contouring. Woohoo! And then I'm going to take... Uh, what brush shall we take, ladies and gents? If there is any boys watching, comment below and tell me you're like, oh, I'm a boy. Even if you don't like makeup. I'm going to take the two blushes in this palette uh, called I Will Always Love You and Justify My Love. And I just mix these two together. I only ever apply a light, light coating of blush. Ever. I do not like to kick on the blush. Blush is not my favourite thing. And there we go. So, on to highlighters. I have become highlight obsessed and I have two purchases in my, I suppose you could call it my beauty kit or my makeup collection or whatever. Rustling bag noises, very loud, very loud, that have changed the blush game for me. Uh, the first is a drugstore option. So this is the Makeup Revolution Ultra Pro Glow Palette. Um, this was £10 and you have eight highlighting shades. I wonder can I do a swatch and it show up. Look at just OMG. We'll do the pink one. The pink one's a little bit too dark for me, but it's amazing. And then uh, for my tan girls, the 
more bronzy colour. Just wow. <laughs> that is just amazing. So um, this is really, really good. And for the price, I think it's amazing. So there's that one. And then there's this one I'm going to be using today because I'm obsessed with it. I can't not just really like wow this is the jeffree star and manny mea skin frost this was their limited edition i got this off beauty bay um i like that even though it was limited edition it was the same price as all of his other um highlighters and this is eclipse Ooh. oh it's upside down dish and um, yeah, just the box, everything that just feels amazing. This is massive. When you see it on your computer screen or your phone, I don't think it comes across how massive this is. This is massive. Like going back to like that little Mac thing. This is massive. Look at this. And then you open it up. Ugh. I find it so hard to open, especially because I have nails. I'm making this look a lot harder than it actually is. It's because I have nails and I can't, I can't hook under it. Let me glow. There we go. Look at this. Just amazing. So now I'm going to highlight, I'm going to glow. Taking my Real Techniques setting brush, we're doing no setting other than setting this highlighter, just give it a wee shoosh and let's glow. Can you see that? Can you? I love. Stop. Just stop. So I just like to apply this all on my cheekbones. This is honestly, it's the best. I am, you know, I feel blessed that I live in a society where, or not in a society, in a, a situation, I suppose you say, where occasionally I can afford nice things. I'm going off on a tangent, but I do not live in a rich home or a rich family. Um, I do occasionally when I have my own money, my own money, mommy and daddy don't pay for me, uh, splurge on makeup and I just feel really lucky but at the same time I have always it's only in the past couple of months I have been able to do so I have always lived out of super drug and anywhere that sells makeup is cheap so uh, even though yes I'm using a few of these <coughs> excuse me nice products um, I am no different than I ever was and I think that drugstore things are just as good and just as amazing quality and amazing packaging as things like this Jeffree Star and uh, Huda Beauty and things like that there so I don't want it to come across that I am bragging I am bas just basically on here showing you the makeup that I have purchased and the things that I like and the things that I have been lucky enough to save up for and afford. It takes a lot of saving. My makeup collection is not huge. The most of it is from that website, AliExpress, that sells uh, knockoffs, if you will, versions of that. But I do do my research before I buy them. I make sure that they are safe. So, yes, for, sorry for my little <laughs> tangent. But just before I go on, because the next couple of items are on the expensive side and although I love them it broke my heart <laughs> to fork out that type of money for these products but you know I was lucky enough that I saved the money and was able to do that because makeup is my thing I love makeup um, I've worked hard all year in college so I thought I deserved a little treat so yes on to the so before I go into the eyes, I'm going to set my face with the Makeup Revolution Pro Fixed Amazing Spray. I am obsessed ooh, with Makeup Revolution. It is just amazing. And I love the mess that gives. <laughs> it doesn't taste good. 
it just sort of sets everything into place. Look at that contour though. Contour. So, <clears throat> I have three new eyeshadow palettes. And, like I said, two of which are extreme, not extremely, two of which are high end, and one of which is a an amazing eyeshadow palette. Um, so, yes. So, the first is the Queen Huda Beauty. Now, um, this was heartbreaking to pay this money for this palette, but it's... I wanted it really really bad so this is what it looks like and um, the pigment and the colour and um, all these shimmers a bit dirty, are amazing I use this all the time I take this everywhere I go I'm surprised these two shades and this one are not uh, used down to the core because I use them constantly the second, I keep everything in their box, is the Jeffree Star Beauty Killer Palette. I was trying to decide between this and the Androgyny Palette and I just thought this one is like nothing that I have um, so I had to, I just had to, the pan sizes in these are ridiculous. Jeffree Star is definitely go big or go home. Um, love, love, love this palette. Oh, it doesn't bend like that. I don't like doing that. It's like a book. You know when you use a book and you bend back the spine? I don't like it. But again, love this palette. I have used every colour in here at some stage or another. Princess makes an amazing highlight. I just have to show you this. Look. Again, just stop it. Stop it. And then the last one is my um, most recent purchase that I purchased yesterday. Um, if you follow me on Snapchat, you've already sort of seen it. This is an MUA makeup palette. This is in Burning Embers. Oh, just Burning Embers. It has a little, the names in the back. Although the names don't really match up to the colours. Let me just open it because that glare is annoying. So this was £8 and you get 25 shades. I have a favourite, it is this one. So on the camera that just looks like a basic white. It's geochromed. It's purple. Like what? This is amazing. Look at that. Look at the swatches now. You can't tell me that drugstore is not as good as high end. So I'm just going to do a quick time lapse sort of part for this. I don't want to go into too much detail. Um, if you want to see specific eye looks I will do them. But I'm just going to do my eye makeup and you can watch. So the time lapse then didn't really work. So I just used this colour for the crease. First time I've done it with slow-mo. Second time the time lapse was too quick. So I'm just gonna finish this and in editing hopefully I can speed this up. Okay, okay. off this look i hope you did enjoy this video i will put in a little video at the end of a close-up with the eyes and things like that there but i hope you enjoyed this video um i hope to be making soon or make you more soon and yeah 
thank you so 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 much for watching this video and please leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you haven't already and yeah follow me on instagram and follow me on snapchat and that's it so thank you so 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 much for watching this and i will see you in my next one bye